Hello everyone and welcome to Floss Tube number 13. Alright, so here is my 13th Floss Tube. You may notice my background is different. Um, if you watched my videos before, you know we were moving um, into a rental house and we have moved. Um, every wall in here is white and <laughs> since it is a rental house, we're not going to paint it. Um, because A, we only expect to be here about six months to a year. B, they kind of, they said you can paint, we'd prefer you not to. So I found the only wall in the house I have a little bit interest with the brick wall. I thought maybe it would look better. Um, but we'll see. I might play around the move around a little bit. But anyway, so let's get into stitching. I feel like the projects I've worked on have been few, which is I think six, so not too few. But I feel like it's been few, but everything I've worked on, I put in a lot of work on. So let's go ahead and get started with my first finish. This is Welcome Pumpkin by Stitching with the Housewives. It's done. And it's done. I love it so, so much. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I can't wait to find something, hopefully this fall, to finish it on. I will say, um, if you notice there, um, if you've like seen this pattern or done this pattern, there is usually a vine down here. I purposefully left that off because I feel like it was too much. I've always planned to leave it off and I like the way it kind of has the white down here, but I think it'll look really nice once it's finished. I stitched this on 28 count black javelin or javelin. I never know which way to say that. And I use a mix of the DMC and fancy flosses. So for the white, I did use 386. Five, I believe it is. Um, the blue was the DMC um, called for and then the green and the oranges, the green, the oranges, and the brown. I used the fancy floss that was called for. Did I use the yellow? The yellow and the flowers was a DMC as well. Let me give you a little close-up. So that kind of gives you a breakdown what those are, but yeah. This is done and I'm really excited it's done and I love the way it turned out. Um, they have a new market release that's like a Halloween one, which is similar colors to this and it's like on the black, you know, Halloween folly colors and I'm really excited about it. And I think I'm gonna um, purchase that and start it soon. The next project I have is a new start. Um, this is one you may have heard me talk about and I am going to hold a pack of needles over it. Um, and I'll tell you about in just a second. Um, just over a part of it, but this is a house is by stitches through the years. I did do a full color conversion to hand dyed, um, extra designs floss. And here it is. The reason why I'm holding this up here is because, um, I do have my old address on it. Cause this was kind of like a commemorative piece for the house that we were living at. I hold it down so I can really show you here. There we go. So you can see I'm on this. I'll show you the bottom in a second. Um, but we have the top, which is a house is made of wood and stone. I'm reading it in my on the phone camera, so I'm reading it backwards. But a house is made of wood and stone, but only love can make a home, which I felt like was perfect. Um, let me fold it so I can show it to you better. Right here is the dates when we moved in and then the date when we moved out. Hold this back up now that you've seen it. The bottom down there just has that border and then I've charted, um, show it like this. I charted our old address and I put that in. Um, but yeah, I just obviously don't want to show that on the internet for privacy reasons. So I'm going to hold it like this while you look at it so you can't see that address, but I will love it. Um, let me give you the extra designs, um, floss conversion. So here we are. I did use two of the called for, called for, which is Forest Glade, Vaginal Arts, and what is this one? Wood Trail, um, also about general art so I think yeah wood trail so these two are called for which is the brown and the dark green um that dark green is in the border and a few other places the dark green is in the border in a few other places and the brown is the roof of the house the shutters um the tree stems I'll show it to you again when I'm done the um purple which I use for the letters, I did change the letters in the pattern. The letters were that wood trail. Um, I use extra designs Indigo Sky. I'm gonna hold them like this. 
can see them all. Then the Little Turtle by Extra Designs is what I used for the light green. For the, um, well, there's not a ton of it yet, but there is going to be once I finish the border. I used Terracotta Mix, and let me show you where it's at right now. Um, it's right up here, and then there's a little bit in these flowers right here as well. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in depth in just a second when I show you the next color, which is Bismarck Cocktail. Now, this is the color I used for the house and you can see they're very similar but this one has pink undertones and this one's more like a, this really reminds me of iced coffee color like tan and caramel um caramel caramel undertones so they're very similar but you can see specifically um in these flowers the center of the flowers is that Bismarck cocktail and then the outside is the terracotta mix. You can see they're very similar. You can see really well the color contrast there. Um, but a couple of them kind of blend in a little bit. But I felt like um, there wasn't enough of it to really, like it didn't bother me. I don't know if this is like a fluke or if this is my first order or if their fabric and floss always smell amazing, but even still, yeah, still amazing. I, I don't know what it is, but I love it. And it <laughs> that alone, also the quality of it, because the quality is fabulous. But the quality and the smell, the smell, I'm like obsessed with. Because when you're stitching it, you're like, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Like you can smell it while you're stitching it, especially when you're using the floss and the fabric. Anyway, love it. Definitely want to place another order from her soon. Um, yes. Okay, next is a whip you have seen before, but I started a new one because it's a bunch of smalls. And this is the Prairie Schooler 12 Days of Christmas Santas. I do have my ring light because I'm trying to find good lighting here. Normally I film during the day in my other house and I'm filming at night. There's my little needle wander I made, so there's champagne problems. Um, but I am working on day six. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold it up against this. There he is. I do need to backstitch his beard. Um, I'm stitching this on 18 count DMC natural, I believe. 18, let's see. Yeah, 18 count DMC natural. I'm stitching it two over one and I've done the other five. And so I've been back stitching the beard in 3371 around it. And so I'll just do that with this one as well. Um, cause every other color shows up really well on it. I need to buy some more fabric so I can do the other six. Um, but yes, there's him. I did change the red in each one of these. I've changed the red to 817 just to brighten it up a little bit. My goal before the next video, and I'm definitely saying goals in this video because I feel like last video I set a lot of goals for myself. One was finish the um, Welcome Pumpkin one, and then I had a Deadly Aquarium style goal, which I met and exceeded. And I feel like saying those in the video made me want to complete the goal. Also, I did have an extra week. Um, in between filming with moving and everything, but I didn't do a ton of stitching that week because we were moving. So, I mean, I, I feel like it evens out, but I'm going to set goals because I feel like I stick to goals better when I speak them out loud. Um, I want to finish him and have started on the next one if my fabric is here by the time I film the next video. Um, because I haven't ordered it yet. I should probably do that tonight. Um, but yeah, I love these. I'm super excited. I want to have all 12 done by the end of the year. So we'll see if that happens. Halfway through is good, not great. So we shall see. <laughs> Next is the Deadly Aquarium Cell. <gasps> okay, I met my goal and I exceeded my goal and I'm so excited. I'm going to give you a nice, beautiful overview. I'm so excited about this one. I'm so proud of this one. I love this. I just love it. Okay, now we'll go through what I've added. And I'm stitching this on 36 count Nessie 1 over 2. Alright, so last time, it's kind of everywhere, so. Well, let me get it straight. Alright, last time I filmed, my goal was to finish that little cave. Um, I do believe. I'm, I'm like 99% sure. So, here we are. I finished the cave. I believe I was working. Yeah, I was definitely working on this side. So I finished that. I worked this up. A little greenery. I did the stingray. There is another stingray right there, which I need to add. 
Um, we have the hammerhead shark with the little fish around them. I can't remember their names, but we have the little fish around them. And if we come to the other side, let me fold it a little bit better. I have started on the barracuda. You can see him in there. This back part is completely done besides the back stitching. I found the easiest way to do it, and I did this with the hammerhead shark and this as well, was to kind of pick a side. And so I did this side first and then I'd continue to that side um, once I finished it. So that seemed to work the best for me. So I'm continuing that here. So that's why the back is done. And then I need to come and finish the front. Um, okay, goal for this one by next video, because like I said, we're speaking goals out loud is to add that stingray right there jumping out of the water there is a little fish right here which he was in the release with these two fish Ugh, so blurry honestly he was in the release with the lionfish i believe that's called and the stonefish but i didn't feel like counting that much but he's kind of in between the hammerhead shark and the barracuda so he'll be easy to do now so i'm going to do him and i want to do the stingray and i want to finish the barracuda and this video is going to go up a little late, which I'll kind of explain at the end why, but I'm um, running into personal life updates. But then all I have left is the um, Don't Touch Tide Pool, which is over here um, for the current releases. There is another release every Friday. We don't have any more breaks until it's over because how many more releases are there? Two? Is it two? Oh my gosh. I literally think it's only two left oh my gosh but I'm happy with my progress on this I feel like I have come a good ways and I feel like last video I was like scrambling to catch up and now I feel like I'm like okay I'm in a good spot am I caught up no but am I pretty close and happy with where I'm at yes I am so super excited about where I got on that one the next whip is a Christmas in July continuation and this is soaring Santa from Stitch Rovia now I got this from the ultimate Christmas 2020 um ultimate cross stitch Christmas 2020 volume 19 and I got this on a readily um through my subscription there you can get depending on what time of year and what price they're running you can either get a one or two month free trial so go check that out but I have put in a little bit more progress on this. I think I only worked on this two nights, um, but I finished that little house, filled in the windows. I think I did that tree, and I know I definitely did all that white and blue over here. Um, so basically what I'm trying to do is you can see where there's that like straight line right there. That's the first page finish. So my goal um, by next time is gonna be, if I work on this, I don't really know if I'm gonna work on this. This isn't like a priority one, um, but is to, next time I work on this, whatever video that's in, is to page finish this. Cause there's like a house here, there's some more trees up in here. Cause as it continues, here's the full fabric. As it continues, it's just gonna go, it's like a cityscape and it's gonna go up um, and then it'll have Santa with his reindeer across the top. I'm stitching this on a 28 count DMC white. And if you'll remember last time, I was talking about how crunchy it was. And thank you to everyone who suggested um, some videos about how to make it less crunchy. I had two or three people do that and I watched all of them. Um, and what I did is kind of a combination of a few of them. So some people said to put it in hot water, like warm water, not boiling, but like warm water with a little bit, um, of white. I saw just people say just warm water. I saw people say vinegar. I saw people say Dawn. And I was like, you know what? I've got so little start on this because all I have is those trees in that house. I messed up the fabric. I could probably like cut that piece out, over dye it some way and it'll be fine. So I was like, I'm, it's not a ton of stitching. I'm not super like attached to it. I can restart on something else because if my fabric didn't soften, I was going to do that anyway. So what I did is I put it in warm water, Pyrex glass dish. I put it in warm water with a little bit of Dawn, a little bit of white vinegar. Um, and I let it sit there for about two hours. And you can see now, it's not the softest fabric, but it is so much more pliable. Like I could have never done this before. And it's so much easier to stitch. I actually was stitching this one in hand last night and I can stitch it in hand, which before I had to have the hoop. Um, I kind of do a combination of hoop and in hand, which before I had to have the hoop with how, um, just rigid this was and now I don't I can kind of do what I want so yeah really nice very excited that the fabric is much softer because it made me want to work on it all right that is the last of my whips let me put this back in before I lose it don't know what project it goes to 
Um, now I have some hauls. So the first one is, I'm gonna grab my notebook, um, so I know the name of it. The first one is a digital pattern. This is from X Stitch Little Stories, um, and this is the 3D skeleton. Is he not adorable? Okay, so I'm gonna put the picture here. But, um, he is stitched on 32 count black, um, and using glow in the dark floss. Now I've heard people say that they don't love glow in the dark floss and I am nervous about it because it's basically just that mixed with like either beef 200 or blanc, like a white a strand of white. I can't remember which one. I think it's two strands of the glow in the dark, one strand of white. I haven't started it, but I've like looked at, over the pattern. Um, so slightly nervous about it. So if you've used it and have any tips on that floss, let me know. All right, and then I placed a one, two, three stitch order right before we moved, it came in. Um, so probably about, let's see, we moved Friday um, and today is Wednesday. Um, so it was the beginning of that week. Um, and I ordered some fabric and some floss to like kit some things up. But I'm not gonna show you that because it's already kitted up with things. But I did buy, let me take it off the plastic. I meant to before this video. Sorry about the angles. Before this video, I thought to myself, I'm gonna be good floss tuber. And I'm gonna take this out of the um, plastic beforehand. Obviously, you can see I did not do that. But this actually got served on a Pinterest ad. And I was like, I need this. I didn't even know. I just saw it and I like clicked on it. I was like, what is that? And it took me to one, two, three, stitch. But this is Let Us Adore Him by Sweet Wing Studio. A pattern I personally haven't seen before, but so beautiful. I love the way it looks on that dark green fabric. And I did go ahead and kit up that dark green fabric. It does use fancy floss. So it's three glass at color works, two journal arts, and two weeks dye works. Which again, I'm gonna kit up on my next one, two, three, stitch order. Things with like um, overdyed flosses, I do tend to like get it in and then look at it and be like, can I use the DMC substitute for this? Cause it does have those here. And honestly, I probably could for the yellow and the pink. The yellow and the pink, I feel like specifically I could use the um, DMC. Obviously you could use DMC for all, but I think I might sub the yellow and the pink for DMC. Cause that saved you a little bit of money if you're like, not trying to spend a ton of money on overdads because they can add up when you're buying a ton. Um, that's a good way is to get the pattern first and then be like, okay, well, which of these do I actually want to spend the money to get overdads on? Which colors are worth it? Um, and then the called for fabric, I got 16 count woodland. Do they call for six? They call for 32 count. I don't think that was in stock. Um, so this is 16 count. I'll show you this out without the sticker. Just beautiful. Like, oh, just the other side I do think I would use this side because I really like the way that side looks um they're both beautiful but I do think I'm gonna use this side which is why I've left the sticker on it honestly so I can remember I want to use that side all right that is all the stitching I'm gonna do a little bit of personal life update first things first we have moved um it went smoothly it was hard leaving our old house um that day we were so <laughs> sad we were like crying all day and we were really upset about it um we were like are we making the right decision and then the next day we were like okay we had our day we cried we were upset about it we felt our feelings but now we're excited um i do think being in the rental house it kind of feels like i don't know it feels like we're living in limbo a little bit it's like we're in that in-between phase like transitional phase and i feel like a lot of times in life when you're in that transitional phase sometimes you're aware of it but a lot of times you're not it's like looking back you're like oh yeah this is a transitional phase but we're living in it and we're very aware we're living in it which kind of makes it a little weird um this is not our ideal house like when we buy a house there's definitely things we like about it there's things we don't it's a little small like right now if you could see there's not it's an old farmhouse so there's not a ton of outlets so i literally have a drop cord i'm sitting in the middle of the hallway but i have a drop cord to the bathroom so i can have my ring light um yeah but the yard is beautiful it's a huge yard there's a cornfield out back it's so nice um the inside is nice too it's just a little small but it's been painted white <laughs> as you can see i didn't mention that um it has new flooring and um they rewired it so it's 
real it's nice inside it's just smaller than like what we had and we we're hoping to go to Baker when we buy a house just a little bit so um yeah it's it's great for now and we're happy with it it's just like we're living in that in between my son's done really good we were definitely nervous about him like the transition and we got here and within two hours of being here like the first night we stayed here we were here for two hours and i was like unpacking um we were like taking turns unpacking slash playing with him because we really wanted to spend like quality time with him you know um and i'd be like okay we're unpacking here we'll go play by yourself in this new environment you know um, so we kind of like switched off and made sure one of us was one-on-one -on -one with him and two hours in he said mommy I love our new house and I was like okay this is great um yeah so we're doing good I'm excited to feel a little settled um and these videos okay so we don't have an internet yet and since we are living kind of rurally um it takes a while for somebody to get out here to come do internet. So we're kind of still searching for like the best option of the fastest. We called one, one place and they were like, it's gonna take three weeks. I'm like, okay, like put it, put us down, but I don't know if we're gonna go with them. So we're kind of like searching that out. So currently we don't have internet. So what I'm doing is I'm filming this video on a Wednesday and then on the sun, so I'm filming this on Wednesday. On Sunday, I'm gonna, um, download all my footage to my because I film on my phone so on Sunday I'm going to take my footage um, that I upload to OneDrive and I'm going to download that on my computer and I'm going to edit it on iMovie throughout the week so you don't need Wi-Fi for that and the next Sunday I will go when we go to my in-laws house I will go ahead and um, upload it there because I'm just going to use their Wi-Fi so that's the current plan now so they're going to be you know updates but is it going to be a little bit delayed i don't, did want to mention that especially with the deadly aquarium sale because you might be like there's been another update since then and you're talking about this um so yeah i wanted to mention that thank you so much for sticking with me while i wasn't here for a little while and i had to take a little break because a we don't have internet so i couldn't upload a video that's the main reason why but i'm really excited to get back to filming content and now that we're a little settled and I feel like not as stressed, um, I wanna make a lot more extra videos too. I'm just really excited about the next steps in this um, yeah, journey in life and journey in my boss too. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and wish us well on moving as well, which I'm super thankful for. Um, my last video would have been a sampler September freebie video, so go check that out. And my next video will, I believe, Yes, it will. We'll have my um, sampler September starts. So be on the lookout for that. I just kitted those up today. Um, that was kind of my reward for getting everything unpacked. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and let me know down below what you've ordered from the new needle market expo whatever they call it because i feel like everybody's calling it something different nobody knows what it's called tell me what your purchases are from that um i didn't even mention it, but i should have that coming in soon maybe not by the next video since they're pre-orders but i have that coming in soon and i ordered some fabric from a fabric shop that is for a quilt shop that's sadly going out of business but i'm gonna link them below because i got some fabric for a really good price i saw that um from hobbies of holly so yeah i'm gonna link that below but thank you so much for watching i'll see you in two weeks happy stitching